Hello, I'm your resident soccer zombie, Tom Franklin here, and I'm here to talk about one of the more interesting St. Louis City SC offseason signings so far, that being Thomas Totland of BK Hacken. No, not that Hacken, this Hacken. That is a photo of BK Hacken's 2023 Champions League qualifying appearance this past season. So this is a team that has some chops to it. Totland, who is a 24-year-old Norwegian with a U.S. passport, comes to St. Louis despite having offers from multiple German clubs as well as other MLS teams, which Lutz Feinenstiel did confirm in a statement about the signing. This includes Philadelphia Union, who we all know about their pedigree in the league. They went to the MLS uh, Cup Finals uh, season before last. There's also Inter Miami that reportedly had some interest as well. Well, now according to Transfer Market, scouts love Totland's potential and they think he has significant upside in the MLS to potentially become a top wingback in the league. And that is something that is exciting, not just because of what he can do on the field, but the potential revenues the city can make down the road. We'll talk about that a little later. This transfer will cost City SC about $500,000, according to Manuel Veth with Transfer Market, an apparent bargain given that Transfer Market has Totland's value at about $900,000. And as you just heard before, that number could go up. So where does Totland fit with the team? Well, as you saw this past season, right back was a bit of an issue with St. Louis City SC. Jake Nowinski had his ups and downs. Akil Watts tried to fill in admirably, but he was more of a stopgap who's more suited to being a central midfielder. However, we also know that Totland can play left back as well, and he's either footed, which you can see in this goal that he scored off his left foot. These types of two-footed left backs are very important in today's game. The ability for Totland to perhaps slide in over to the left if the starting left back gets injured and then having Nerwinski play on the right, that is immensely valuable, especially as St. Louis City SC plays more games this year because of the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Oh, and one name that I did not mention, City SC's project right back, Owen O'Malley, who O left the club this offseason after not one but two reported suspensions this season over what were reportedly some conduct and maybe some maturity issues. Good luck to him going forward, but he didn't make too many appearances for City 2, and it sounded like that it just was not going to work out for him, which is a shame because he was the first-round pick for St. Louis City SC in the Super Draft. They actually traded back into the first round to get him. So, yeah, very disappointing. But enough about that, let's get back to Totland, one of the best scouting services available in the world right now is Football Manager. Yes, that Football Manager, the one that you can play on your PC right now. According to FM24, he's a pretty darn good player for this MLS level. Now, his overall ability is 109 out of 200, which sounds average, but again, for this level, it's pretty good. His potential ability is 123 out of 200. Some notable pros that Football Manager pointed out is that he likes big matches, he's consistent, these are some of the more hidden attributes that foot Football Manager has that identifies this. And also, they note that Totland is very technical for his level. And you can kind of see that in the technical column, how his numbers are, he's got a lot of 11s and 12s in his number, which, again, sounds average, but is actually pretty good, especially for a right back, to have both good passing and good marking ability. Now, relative to the rest of the St. Louis City roster, he's pretty good. As you can see on the right-hand column, he becomes arguably the best fullback on the team. So all in all, this sounds like a very good signing for St. Louis City SC. He fills a big need on the roster, and he sounds like a player with upside that could potentially reap some rewards for St. Louis City SC down the road. Not just in monetary value, but also in reputation. See, St. Louis City SC is a very young club right now, and they don't have a track record to speak of right now when it comes to player development, at least not yet. Teams like St. Louis City SC need to have a reputation for being able to sign players, develop them, and help them grow into one of the bigger leagues, that being like a European league, like the Premier League, uh, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, those leagues, even Liga Mekis as well. Let's not forget that league is still considered bigger than MLS for the 
the most part. And the team needs more players like Totland, like eventually Sam Adinarin, maybe even Nico Joachini and other players to be able to say that they came to St. Louis and they grew as players and they were eventually launched into the next level thanks to St. Louis City SC's development. Because again, this team is young, they don't have a track record in that area that really speak of at this point. There are early success stories already, like with Miguel Perez, for instance, but they, this team needs more of them in order to attract young academy players and even regular free agents like Totland as well uh, to come to St. Louis and convince them that the next two or three years of their football career should be held in St. Louis. And I say that partly because Totland's contract is apparently through 2027, according to Manuel Vett. But no matter how you look at it, this looks like a very good signing for St. Louis SC. But what do you think about it? Is he a guy that was ever on your radar? I know he's kind of an obscure name for a lot of people. Is he the answer to St. Louis's right back woes? Or do you think they still need to dip into the market for further reinforcements? Leave a comment below and make sure to like and subscribe if you find videos like this useful. I'm Tom Franklin, your resident soccer zombie and... Nope, still not wearing pants.